fettuccine alfredo. Oh yeah. What was that again? When I Did used I miss that? that? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Delicious, decadent, creamy, quick, and easy. Folks, watch out who you serve this one to because it might garner feelings for you. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm pretty sure pasta in Italian means love. I don't know. But this is going to be a beautiful fettuccine Alfredo. We're going to use some Monroe sausage in there and make it a sausage fettuccine Alfredo. Uh, I'm really a fan of some of these quick one pot dishes uh, that we're able to whip up and infuse a little bit of pecan wood today. So we're going to have a pecan smoked fettuccine alfredo and it's just the essence of smoke okay so don't think we're smoking a brisket for three hours okay this is this is something that we shut the lid and the smoke adheres on the top layer of the liquid sauce and that's what brings forward that, that very powerful but subtle seasoning so let's get into the action first thing we're going to do we've got a grill come on joe up to almost 600 degrees here and we're full on direct i'm going to put my Le Creuset right on the edge here, and we're gonna start soaking up that energy. I wanna get a hot pan to start things out with. I like your trick about leaving one side off the edge too. Yeah, if you can. I mean, eventually we're gonna shut this lid, but it's but it's nice to have access to it. Yeah. Don't, don't burn your freaking hand. You know what I mean? A, a lot of cooking and sim simple recipes still take a little common sense, and I burnt my hand enough to know that. <laughs> That's, okay? what That's what it is. Um, so let's start out with getting this Monroe sausage on the grill. And again, we're at about 550, maybe, maybe a little more aggressive. Um, I love the uh, heat in this sausage, okay? It's not too hot for the kiddos, um, but it's just enough interest for me. And, the, and Monroe sausage, they do a great job. We've used their bacon in some recipes before. Um, this is my kiddos' favorite sausage, so great stuff. Glad to have them with us today. And I'm just gonna lay these two pieces right here on the back. We're gonna get a little char on the casing. Uh, we're gonna pick up a little bit of natural lump charcoal flavor from the natural lump charcoal, and we're gonna incorporate that into our dish and our fettuccine. Um, let's go ahead and prep up some of the other stuff while we're waiting for that sausage to cook. And we can slice our lemon in half, no big surprises there. And then we're also going to chop our parsley and slice our baguette. This is a great dish. You know, we're using sausage today, but you could do this with you could do this with mussels, you could do this with fish, you could uh, you could do this with blackened steak. I've had a lot of success in the past. Grilled chicken. So um, take what we're doing today and put your own protein with it. Make sense? Makes sense. Yeah. More technique than uh, actual recipe. It's total technique driven, and it couldn't be any simpler. So sausage is crisping up, pans heating up, we're prepped. I guess we could talk about the other ingredients in the dish, <laughs> sure. you know. We're gonna start, oh, let's, let's line it up. Let's line it up like we would at home in a restaurant just to make our lives a lot easier. Yeah, I don't want to think just about it. Just go right down the line of all your ingredients. Yeah, and you know, if I'm at home or I'm entertaining, this is a great way for me to continue the conversation and I'm just, it looks effortless because it is. I've done all the mental mise en place. I'm ready to rock. I've got all my stuff. And then don't forget the garnish in the end. Um, but yeah, if you line everything up in sequential order, it just makes your life a lot easier. Yeah. So uh, uh, cooking like, like cooking life hack there, set yourself up for success and have it all here. So you're not running around like a maniac because really it's about time at the grill. It's about thinking about what you're doing and giving yourself time to really enjoy what it is you do. Beautiful, huh? Woo! See that? Beauty. You just do such a great job. I'm gonna have a hard time not snacking on this. In fact, I'm just gonna stop fighting the urge, to be honest with you. <laughs> Quality go. control. That's all it is. That's beautiful. Here. Mm hmm. Yep. Quality. Oh man, I forgot how good that is. Yeah. So those of you who've been to like the Kamado Joe block parties and stuff, this is this is the sausage that I choose to use. Mm. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and pop these beautiful slice pieces right into our pan. We're gonna render a little bit of that fat content to the bottom of the pan. And we're gonna help it with uh, a chef's pinch of butter. Is there a difference between a chef's pinch and an actual pinch? <laughs> of course there is. It's like a baker's dozen, <laughs> you know? And that brown butter or that burn wasette is gonna bring a nuttiness to this dish that's gorgeous. And now we put in the chopped garlic. And we're just going in order, you know, got it all set up. See, I can start to see the color there. Starting to smell that roasted garlic. That tells me it's time to cool things down a little. Let's deglaze. See it picking up all the color and all the fond or the protein on the bottom of that pan and just bringing it into the sauce. The graduated sauce. Okay, now we go in with the heavy cream. Mm -hmm. You gotta stir it or it's gonna break. What I mean by break, see how if I don't stir it, you can see the, the oil content? We wanna keep stirring it. And we'll put that pasta in there and the starches from the pasta will leach into the sauce and begin to give it body and hold it a little bit. Notice these bubbles when, when they're coming to, they're, they're nice sheen bubbles. Sauce is reducing. I'm gonna go ahead and sneak in our pecan wood. And I'm just gonna throw this in there. It's a direct flame. And we'll have combustion in about 30 seconds there. So there we go. And that's where we get that blue smoke we talk about so often. I'm using minimal charcoal. I've got, I've got combustion right off the bat and you can't even see smoke coming up. That's what we want. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Parmesan, probably a quarter of a cup of Parmesan here to start tightening this sauce up just a little bit. Let's introduce the pasta. And you weren't kidding, this is super fast. Super fast, super fun, super delicious. That's what I'm about. This is an elevated dish off the grill. Let's just go in with all the pasta. And start rolling it around. I want everybody to get acquainted. I'm telling you, man, this is my love language right here. Fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> what did you say? Pasta is Italian for love. Pasta, I'm pretty sure I'm correct on that, folks. Let, leave a comment section. Uh, <laughs> leave, leave a comment in the section below. Speak Italian. <laughs> speak, speak straight up Italian. Tell you, you've got to watch out who you serve this dish to, though, because they might garner feelings for you. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. It's amore. Now it's looking a little tight. Okay, so uh, there's no rules that say we can't knock a little liquid in there in kind of similar ratios that we did before. A little bit of wine, a little bit of cream. A little bit of wine, a little bit of cream. And that pasta, like I said before, is gonna start leaching out some of those starches and giving even more body to this sauce. Now I'm gonna close that lid. Let's look real quick underneath though. I wanna show you that's complete combustion on our smoking wood. I'm gonna shut this dome. We're gonna give it about two minutes and we're gonna let that beautiful smoke fill this chamber and adhere to the top layer of that liquid, giving us that secret essence of, man, what is that? And then you'd be like, I did pasta on the grill. And people are like, you're freaking insane. And you'd be like, I love you. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. Amore. <laughs> amore, amore, yeah. All right, it's been two minutes and I'm like it, like it, like what I'm seeing. Wow. That is amore. Yeah, it really. It's not even a joke anymore. It's just that's amore. And the smoke uh, is really gonna be pronounced, but again, in a in an educated way. It's it's 
That cream sauce is just gonna drink it up a little bit and it's gonna have that, what is that? That deliciousness, what is that? So let's go ahead, add a little bit of uh, lemon juice just to brighten things up. You don't add too much. We're not trying to curdle this milk, you know, we're not doing that, but it is really fun. Let's go ahead and put our bread pieces and a little bit of cheese. Uh-huh. Um, I was thinking about it, you know, this bowl is not really singing my song. I want to I want to put this out on a larger kind of platter. Something square is going to be really nice. You could serve it right on this. Just tell people family style, watch out, it's going to be hot. But I'm thinking we got this beautiful rectangle. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that'll look nice. So, while we're here, let's finish this up. That's all the reduction we really need. The residual heat from the pan will continue to cook it. Let's take half of our parsley, and as I like to say, knock it in. <laughs> you do like to say that. I do, I do. I think it's important that we acknowledge it. My wife told me to stop saying my art reaction. So. <laughs> All right, let's take it off. Dude, wow. This is stunning. I mean, if I had to do Valentine's at home for two people or four people or one person, like this is, this is what I'm doing. And I'm starting to turn it. It's starting to cool down a little bit. It's tightening up a little bit it's as it cools. tightening up. Yeah, we're not forgetting about our bread this time, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> uh, uh, we could go in with a little bit of Parmesan. I'm looking at it, it doesn't need it. Sometimes less is more. This is, uh, I guess all around this is an example of more is more, but uh, I'm, I'm really loving where we're at. And I'm gonna kind of scoot this to be a, linear little tornado of pasta. And I'm gonna come right there on the center of this baby. Now you could fold in arugula into this if you had some. Um, oh my God, you can't. Wow. Stop it. The buddy Luke Rutz, stop it. Yeah. All you naysayers in the beginning that didn't think I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> pasta means love. And that sausage is gonna bring hints of spice. Still got garnish to go. I mean, Nathan, tell me your wife wouldn't love it if you brought this in. Oh, this yeah. Is, and your boys. Magical. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is another example of an elevated dish that can happen in, in seven minutes, you know? And don't forget, we got that smoke on there that's just gonna scream. I don't know what it's gonna scream. We're gonna find out in a second, I guess, when we taste it. Well, people are already rushing over here to get it. Damn, it's good looking. And don't put it on right here. Let it fall down like it fell out of the forest or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of all that cheese that falls in the forest? Cheese falls out of the forest where I live. <laughs> Magical place. It's a moray. Okay. Never serve a plate with anything on the rim. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's get that bread in there for a little more plate architecture. Hope this doesn't mess it up. Rabbit ears, I tell you. Dude, that is a pasta dish for the ages right there. Wow. Just, just, oh. I mean, that's what's up, folks. And how quick was that? Boom, boom, boom. I'm smelling the smoke right now. 
could be because I got the dome up still too. But I, but I'm I'm really getting some some magical aromas here. We've got some good fun textures going on. The sausage is going to play really nicely with this. The fact that it rendered out first, it's become part of the base of our sauce. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and give this a go. And look how it adheres to the pasta just like we want to see. I'm not I'm not eating that whole bit. You know, that's that's and let's definitely get some sausage. Yep. That's the one. That's what I'm doing for Valentine's Day for sure. <laughs> cool, cool, crazy birds all over the place. Um, folks, if you enjoyed this recipe, and I hope you did, because I really enjoyed cooking it for you, these fast, furious, simple, big result recipes. Oh, there's the smoke now. I'm getting the smoke now. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Oh, I, they're love, getting closer. I love the Sand Hill Crane. Who's that guy? Oh, they're beautiful. Wait, where'd they go? I'm telling you. Dude, they're actually coming in. And you know what? Hey, here they come. Oh, buddy. They sound like raptors. And they mate for life. I'm telling you, this is this is. It's love. It's, it's love. So it's love. It's love. <laughs> um, happy Valentine's Day. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Yeah, you know, oh, these man. guys are saying even... it too. Apparently. Um, no, don't forget to to like, subscribe, leave us a comment. What else would you do? Uh, to this dish to, to elevate it in your backyard. Think about what you already have in your refrigerator. I'm not asking you to go to the store. What, what would you what would you tie in there? Would it be broccoli? Would it be uh, rapini? What do, what do you got? Um, because I do love seeing those comments. And as always, from our backyard to yours, team, happy grilling. Cheers.